As many of you are aware, I am legally blind and recently I actually got to experience what it's like to see 2020 vision and even a little bit beyond that. Basically what happened was I was tipped off by this company and I got in contact with them. So this past week I met with one of their representatives here in Los Angeles, California to actually get a demo and sort of test drive this product eSight and see if it would improve my vision. So the day started with me taking an eye exam and haven't done that for a while. So so the night before I got plenty of rest, which was very helpful considering my eyes have nystagmus, which is where my eyes constantly move back and forth and cause like a vertigo effect. And my vision does fluctuate the acuity of it. From like anywhere between 2160 on a very good hour to on average 2200 and then it will get worse throughout the day or the night down to like 2250. If you actually want to know a little bit more about what it's like to see through my eyes, I made a film. Uh, you can check that out. It's called 20 Years of Continuous Vertigo and it kind of puts you in a first person perspective for what it's like to see through my vision. So we did the eye exam and I tested for reading and for distance and contrast. My contrast is pretty great though without the eSight because just being a filmmaker I have to sort of challenge and train my eyes on like just contrast in general. That wasn't really an issue for me. So the product consists of a headset, glasses, and a box a controller more so. And the controller allows you to adjust the settings of how you see with the contrast, the brightness, the focus, and you can also adjust how far you zoom in. And it has like a 14 times optical and digital zoom. So the Eastlight doesn't necessarily correct the vision, but what it allows you to do is magnify everything that you see. It's sort of like when I use my computer, I zoom into everything that I'm basically reading or watching in order to feel comfortable viewing it. So the headset itself was fairly comfortable. The remote wasn't as heavy as I assumed it was gonna be. So the remote is carrying an external battery, which allows you to get up to four hours of viewing, and you can just swap out that battery in order to put a new one in and let the other one charge. So that's pretty cool. So you, when you get the eSight, it's like eight hours technically by swapping batteries. So we redid the eye exam, but this time with the eSight. So without the eSight, I usually test visually impaired and legally blind. This time I was able to actually read with the device and comfortably zoom in from a distance and read 2020. And as for the reading test, when I redid that, I was actually able to get 2016 vision, which is better than perfect vision by a small margin. So basically perfect vision and a little bit beyond that. And that was the first time ever I've been able to really do that. Even though your average eye doesn't zoom in and make that the entire view, it was still really cool to be able to experience what it's like to see things from a distance and, and even read things that were kind of up close but small, super small print. As for the contrast test, I was able to read an extra line, but again, my contrast was never an issue. The eSight also has HDMI input and output, which means I can display what I'm seeing to other people on a monitor, and I could also plug in things like a game console or a MacBook or any other HDMI in device and just watch whatever is like on my TV. I could watch Netflix, I can watch a game. Again, I could play video games with it and, and comfortably zoom in to the game play or the movie and just see details I normally miss out on. We even took it outside and I was able to experience what it's like to sort of see things in a real world setting, walking around with it. And it was pretty comfortable. It allowed me to see things on like a sign and on a truck that otherwise I would be nothing but just a color and complete utter blur. Now it didn't fix my nystagmus or anything, it doesn't stop my eyes from shaking back and forth, but when things are blown up and, and large for me to see, I can just, it, it's less of a hassle to try to strain my eyes and make them focus. I just wanna say thanks to the guys at eSight who allowed me to sort of experience this kind of vision. What do you guys think of this product? Leave a comment down below. Honestly, it's just amazing to see the kind of technology that we're being introduced to nowadays to really just help correct and, and help make the lives of people who have disabilities even better. If you guys want more information, links are gonna be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next week. And bye.